Well, yeah. this is the thing. I mean, Linda, philosophically, you chose the, the left of the Labor Party, which ends up fighting with the Greens, OK? The Greens say that at a federal level, oh, look, because we won three seats in Queensland, we're on our way through. But again, that's preferences and at a time of a change of government. Uh, again, I just think, you know, let's not put a stake through the Greens' heart and pretend, you know, ding dong, the witch is dead. It ain't. The vote is exactly the same as it was four years ago. And they have thousands of people that they think can mobilise at a federal election. But, 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 the reality is, is that Labor in Queensland is a lot leftier than Labor in Canberra is. So do the Greens have a different offering when they're going up against, uh, well, yes, a left-wing version of the Labor Party in Albo, but not as far left as they are? Look, I think the Greens are going to get a big wake-up call after this Queensland election. I mean, it is, of course, the case that during the federal election, they won three federal seats right in the heart of Brisbane. And the fact that they appear to have uh, potentially be at risk of losing a seat uh, and not gaining any seats, I mean, that is not a result that Adam Bant was predicting. It's not a result that the Greens were predicting. It's really quite remarkable. And they will still, should they win seats, rely on a complex flow of of preferences to get there. So, for example, uh, in the South Brisbane seat that they're still having a look at whether or not they might win, the Greens will rely on a one-nation flow to get the Liberals higher than Labor in order to get themselves over the line, right? So let's be clear, uh, they've had yeah. a very bad result, much worse than predicted, and it is remarkable given they have three federal seats where you'd think those federal members would be out mm. uh, doing the task to kind of convert people back but actually they're not doing that and being completely ineffective. And I think this is a powerful message for the Greens. When you continue to attack Labor, when you block progressive outcomes like Don't more housing, housing for housing thing. affiliated be when you when you attack the Miles Labor's environmental agenda. was running around agenda, as if he was a you, green. You go backwards. Free lunch, free 50 cent this, come on. I mean, like, like These he are had adopted great Labor many... cost of living policies. They're not Greens policies, they're great Labor oh, this cost is of be living Albo, policies. Al breaking news, and... Albo's going with free lunches to the next election. Look, these are great Labor Queensland cost of living policies and the Greens have really, I think, not gone as well as anyone would have predicted before this election. If they're to right. do as well, even as they did, they're going to be having to get there based on one nation preferences to get the Liberal vote Again, higher. Again, I'm not sitting ridiculous. here cheering up the Greens. We all know how I feel about the Greens. I'm just saying... It, the people who are, and I've seen it on the telly, heard of it, they're all uh, ding dong, they're gone, you know, play, the exact same vote, okay? Exact same vote. Where it was, important. The preferences, important. But they didn't drop by six points. Last preferences, week. Yeah. compulsory preferential voting. Well, that's got to go. That's See what the really needs to get rid of. Yeah, get rid of that. Needs to change the financial gerrymander. Mm. All of that will happen in a second. Uh, we've got the uh, incoming Deputy Premier here uh, standing by. So quickly. Who do you think is winning the American election right now? Not who's going to win in eight days' time. It just we have to say right now. And what data would push you in that direction, Elise? I think Trump. And I think... Well, you've seen uh, Michelle Obama out there, you know, campaigning for mm. Kamala. Kamala's losing the, the men the African-American men, Hispanic men particularly. Yep. I think he was really smart to do, to, 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 to do Rogan because that will talk to them. Uh, I couldn't believe Michelle Obama saying what you he's said. He's dodging interviews while he's just doing a three and a bit, inter a three yeah. and a bit interview. Okay. But yeah, thank goodness it wasn't her. Yeah, Linda, give me the uh, bumper stick and reason why you think Harris is winning on a data point. Look, I think Kamala's still just got the odds, but we're seeing the tech billionaires swing in hard in the newspapers they own and across platforms behind Trump, uh, and that is really influential, yeah, and it's trying to influence Lynch. the vote yeah. uh, in a pretty scary way. Yeah. Yeah, what about 51 intelligence agencies pretending something that was real wasn't? But anyway, I get it. I get it. I'm not rubbing salt in the wounds. Be a good friend. Be a good friend. The Thank Iraq you, uh, ladies. Do appreciate it. <laughs>